In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear Fred, I'm sure you're very well this Tuesday. The 14th day of November, in the year of our Lord and Saviour, 2023. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we surrender our fears and anxieties to you, knowing that you are our refuge and strength. May we find rest in your presence and peace in your love. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on you and to trust in your provision and care for us always. Beloved God, first of all, we come to you to ask for forgiveness for our many mistakes, failures, attitudes, thoughts, and actions that displeased you. We know that we need to improve. We still have a lot to learn, and this will only be possible if we are walking on your path, strengthen with you, strength that we are walking on your path together with you. We are sorry if ever we questioned your greatness or thought that you weren't seeing our pain. We know that you are faithful. The one who is not faithful is us. Father, we are human beings full of flaws. We are human beings full of flaws. Heavenly Father, it is not easy to go through the trials that sometimes we are in or we get in. But as your son said, in this world, we will have afflictions, but he has already won for us on the cross. All we have is the Lord and that is enough for us. For he knows our needs better than we do. We are small next to you, O Lord. So we make the Lord our refuge. Strengthen our faith. Our mind. Clothe us in your armor so that with you we can overcome the evil day. Our God. You as is the power, the glory, and the honor forever. It is in the name of Jesus that we pray, give thanks, and ask that our words may reach the Lord like a sweet perfume. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friend, I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K., wishing you a bright and a productive Tuesday. Thank you. 17, my. Today we are on day 17. It is day 17 in our novena for candidates. And today our candidates are sitting for Christian religious education. Uh, that is from 8 to 10.30. We have got Christian religious education, Islamic religious education, and Hindu religious education. And in the afternoon, biology. So as we said, we pray for our children per the papers that they are doing. Today, I've said it's Tuesday, the 14th. And we, ce we celebrate the Tuesday in the 32nd week in ordinary time. And our gospel passage is taken from Luke chapter 17, verses 7 to 10. A reading from the Holy Gospel 
according to Luke. Will any one of you who has a servant plowing or keeping sheep say to him when he has come in from the field, Come at once and sit down at table? Will he not rather say, Prepare supper for me and guard yourself and serve me till I eat and drink and afterward you shall eat and drink? Does he thank the servant because he did what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that is commanded you, say, we are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. The Gospel of our Lord. Today's Gospel gives Jesus warning on complacency in the spiritual life through a parable about a slave and his relationship with his master. The slave had to the duties of a cook as well as those of a field worker. Jesus says that the master wanted him to do field work till evening. Then prepare the supper and serve him at the table. Since both were part of his duty, he need not expect a thank you from the master. This parable was a warning also to the Pharisees who thought that God was indebted to them because of their scrupulous observance of the Mosaic law. We are God's servants because God owns everything and all our possessions have been loaned to us by a generous God. Our efforts and accomplishments are nothing in comparison with the blessings of God which we have received. All our devotions, our prayers and works of charity form only a negligible part of our return to God and the power to do them is another of his gifts to us. We can never adequately repay the gifts God has given to us. The Blessed Virgin Mary was fully aware of this truth and that is why she responded to God's messenger saying, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Saint Bernadette of Sobrius, who lived between 1844 and 1879, the girl to whom the Blessed Mother appeared in Lourdes, France, lived a life of obscurity as a contemplative nun. A journalist was able to track her down and eventually got the permission of the of the priories to interview her. One question that the journalist asked of her was why she opted to live in obscure life when she was so well known all over the world. In answer, Bernadette compared herself to a house broom which has been put aside in a closet after it had been used to clear the room. Now, three things stand out here. We need to 
to offer our prayers of thanksgiving and act of charity to God so that we may grow in God's grace. Number two, we need to consider our service to our neighbors as a sacred duty we owe to God in return for his innumerable blessings. Number three, God's love and generosity should compel us to give him the best that is in us as our acts of thanksgiving. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Tuesday. Thank you.